Principal Rick Bentley has had 11 good years here at Landisville Intermediate Center, but like all good things, it must come to an end. I'll miss the, the staff and the camaraderie we had here. I'll miss the students, the interaction, the daily interaction with the students because uh, um, it's great to see them every morning when they come in the door, no matter what kind of day you've had, they come in and they have a smile on and they're ready to start. And uh, it's a great age. Rick Bentley leaving makes mixed emotions for teachers like Kurt Rogers, who has been teaching at Landisville for 23 years. It's a little bittersweet. Oh, the entire staff is happy for him because he's choosing to go out when he wants to go out and leave this job and retire. Uh, the sweet part is because we're happy for him. The bitter part is that we're going to be losing him and we uh, have really come to appreciate him as, as our principal. Um, so it's, it, we feel kind of both ways about it. Students will miss Mr. Bentley's calmness when approaching problems. I had an altercation with another student. It was, I got kind of angry and it wasn't anything huge. It just required to sit down with the principal. He wasn't the type of principal that would be like in your face or like really intense. He was just a nice enough guy. His patient way was recognized and appreciated by staff in addition to the students. He is by nature, I think, a gentle person. He's a gentle man, truly but he also has a calmness about him that he carried through with the students even when things got a little bit crazy at times or there were multiple balls in the air and things going on. He was calm throughout all of that and it kind of brought that across to the students and to the staff. The whole point of the Intermediate Center was to kind of be like, oh hey, you're going off to middle school next year so you have to be a little bit more than elementary. Principal Rick Bentley certainly did his part in teaching teachers and students important values. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Christian Groff. Hello, I'm Matt Binder, the teacher of the ComTech classes here at the high school. It's a tradition over the summer that we have a final conversation with the seniors of our program that have worked so hard on our community show over the years. Our first senior is Abby Bittner, and she's joined by Samantha Eck, the communications specialist for Hemfield. We're here with Abby Bittner, and Abby, you are a senior in our ComTech program. Can you tell us what it was like to be on WHHS and Hemfield Happenings? They were both great experiences. They're both very different, which I enjoyed because I got the chance to be on the school news as well as be on uh, Hemfield Happenings on YouTube and stuff like that. So they were both really fun. That's great. And so what are your next steps after your time here at Hemfield? I'll be heading to Florida to Flagler College for uh, my major in broadcast journalism. Oh, that's very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about your future. Can you tell us what we're going to see today? Yeah, the 501st Garrison Carita um, is a group that dresses up as Star Wars characters and they go to uh, volunteer at children's hospitals and other children's events and just make them happy. And they went to an art show at the Landisville Intermediate Center recently. So. Well, let's watch that now. Yeah. <laughs> Here at the Landisville Intermediate Center, students recently had the opportunity to showcase their creative abilities while also showcasing the art of Star Wars. The showcase included not only artwork from the students, but also face painting and a dog rescue organization. However, the biggest hit was the Star Wars characters that came as part of a group that helps the community. The 501st Garrison Creta is actually a charity organization. We have over 10,000 members across the world. We actually do all kinds of charities from like charity walks, Make-A-Wish, Cancer Walks, and then we get to do some fun things as well as doing like conventions and things like that for people just to kind of bring them the Star Wars spirit. Mr. Herder, who portrays the role of Luke Skywalker, goes into depth about how the organization enlightens Star Wars fans. Everybody's in love with the same thing, with the movie growing up. We share a lot of common things, um, especially just doing the charity thing is one of the biggest things. How can we give back to the community? The little kids just, this, they sparkle, they smile when they see us. So I think. Both Lannisville Intermediate Center art teacher Mrs. Bailey and senior art volunteer Diane Fisher helped make the show one of the biggest to date. I would hope that with what we have done in the art room that they have a new appreciation for art, um, that art makes them 
very excited and they have a better understanding of how it relates to the world. Um, I try every year with a the theme to give them something to shoot for and then we go from there and everything fits curriculum wise and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's not about Mrs. Bailey, it's not about me, it's about the kids. And not only does she have a theme, but every art show we earn money for a specific um, charity. And that kind of teaches the kids to take a responsibility in their community to give back. Some kids don't have the chance to, to make it, but they know about Star Wars, you know, make it in life, and they know about Star Wars. So us just coming in and giving just that little bit of a smile to them is like the biggest kind of thing we can give back. She puts on a production, you know, it, it really, it's amazing and it takes a whole crew of people to get it together. She's a very um, dedicated art teacher and I think it comes off. The words of the alma mater for Hemfield ring in my head, honor, gratitude and loyalty. Uh, all of these I give to you so that in the future you can do the best you can and I don't know, that's just kind of been my thing in the my life. As you can see, the art show gives the students a unique opportunity to not only share their creative abilities, but to give back to the community. May the force be with you. And from Hemfield Happenings, I'm Abby Bittner. We're here today with Quentin Hernandez. Quentin, you've been in the ComTech program during your time here at Hemfield. Can you tell us why you decided to go and start taking the classes? Um, so my sophomore year I took ComTech 1 and then I wanted to take more meaningful electives and just like other things that I wasn't really considering for a career by any chance. So I continued with ComTech 2 my junior year and then my senior year I participated in Hemfield Happenings by taking ComTech 3 and 4. So That's yeah. exciting. And so speaking of that background, what will you be doing after your time here? Um, even though I'm not going into communications at all, I'm going to Universal Technical Institute for Automotive Technology, hoping to get a career with um, the BMW group through their program that they have. And although I'm not going into the field, I definitely will use the skills that I've learned through this class. I'm sure you will. So your time here at Hemfield, you started this feature called Hemfield Eats. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what we're going to see today? So after STN in California, I saw a reporter who went to local food restaurants and reported on them. And so I thought, why can't I bring that back to Hemfield? So I started Hemfield Eats. And I think it's been a great thing for students to learn. So. Awesome. Well, let's watch it now. I went to Grand Central Bagel Cafe off Centerville Road to see what they're baking, brewing, and cooking. Freshly baked every morning, grab a Grand Central Bagel before coming into school while they're still warm. And with a large assortment of flavors and spreads, the combinations are endless for what you can order. The pancake bagel with some seasonal raspberry cream cheese spread. Great stuff. When you have a larger appetite, the cafe has a great variety of different sandwiches for a fulfilling breakfast or lunch. Using boar heads, meats, and cheeses, there's no need to worry about artificial colors or byproducts in your meal. When you need caffeine or want to treat yourself to a nice drink, Grand Central has many different drinks hot and cold made from premium ingredients. Alright, so this is the chai latte. It's great and you can also get an ice for when it starts to get hotter out. For Hemfield Eats from Grand Central Bagel Cafe, I'm Quentin Hernandez. We're here today with Hemfield senior Jason Furlong. So Jason, you've taken six of the ComTech classes. Can you tell us what your favorite memory was? 
Um, well, uh, choosing a favorite memory is kind of hard since, like, you know, it's been four years, so there's a lot of them. But um, I would just say just, like, the daily, just hanging out with everyone in the CompTech uh, program and just, like, you know, it's, it's how friendly everyone is, you know. It's just, it just kind of piles up into one memory, so I can't really pick one. But just, like, the daily, you know. Interaction of spending yeah. time with each other. So, um, after this, you are graduating within the next two weeks. So, can you tell us what you will be doing after you graduate? Right. So, uh, in the uh, I'll be going to Pitt in the fall, and I'm undeclared, but I'm hoping to do something communications. And in terms of uh, like what I want to do after that, just I just want to find something that I like doing, and just you know something video wise, and just keep doing that. Great. And so the feature that we're going to be seeing is a production that you and MJ worked on called Hemfield Weekly. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what we're going to be seeing today? Right. So me and MJ did Hemfield Weekly, which is a YouTube show, which basically we just make something like a video, an entertaining video, and we do it like every week pretty much and it goes on YouTube. And the one we did was the first one, which, which we're going to watch, is basically taking two like unlike things and seeing if people know them. So one was Vice President Joe Biden, and then the other was Pikachu, which is you know a cartoon mm -hmm. character, and seeing if people knew either of them or if any of it at all. Um, so and we just did it, and we had a lot of fun doing it. So great. Well, let's take a look at that right now. Hey, what's happening in Hempfield? I'm Cody Maverick, aka MJ Alfonso, and I'm here with... Jason Gerlong, otherwise known as Jason Furlong. Not only is it an election year, but... It's also the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. We decided to test students and ask them if they knew who Joe Biden was. Or Pikachu. Find out what happens. Can you go ahead and tell me who uh, this character is? Uh, it's Pikachu. Pikachu. Pikachu? Uh, it's Charizard. Pikachu. Pikachu. Um, Pikachu? I don't think so. Is that like a Pokemon thing? I don't know. Uh, of course I do. That's Pikachu. Pikachu? Come on. Do uh, you know which Pokemon? No. No? No. Pokemon. Yes. Do you know which Pokemon? I have no clue. That's Pikachu. That's Pikachu. Come on. Maybe. Pikachu? Yeah. Can you please tell me uh, who this man right here is? No. And why not? I don't know. It kind of looks like Donald Trump, but like I can't really see. Can you tell me who this man is? No. I don't know who that is. Any guesses? No. Is that Anderson Cooper? Um, it's not Anderson Cooper. But why do you think it's Donald Trump? Because he has a suit on. He has a suit on. Can you tell me who uh, this man right here is? Joe Biden. Uh, no, no idea. Bernie Sanders. Bill Clinton. Um, not quite. Uh, someone that works in the office for the United States. <laughs> the office of the United States. Is that a um? Is that an official cabinet or is that is that separate from the government? Uh, official cabinet. That is the vice president of the United States, Joe Biden. This is actually our vice president, Joe Biden. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Um, this is actually Joe Biden. He's our current vice president. Um, this is actually our current vice president, uh, Joe Biden. So can you tell me why you knew who Pikachu was and not uh, Joe Biden? Well, I'm a Republican, so I don't care about him. <laughs> um, you know, I was an avid Pokemon player in my youth. I don't know politics. Because Pikachu is like the trend at the moment. But not the vice president. No, he's not. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed our first video. And make sure to tune in next week where we might have some prizes. Stay tuned. Oh, we should both do that at the end. We should just be like, stay tuned. Now I'm here with two of our seniors, Keen Fulton and Zach Lehman. And I have to ask you both, why did you sign up for ComTech? I signed up for ComTech because my brother took ComTech and he said it was fun, so I had to give it a try freshman year. So. Yeah, I didn't have any specific reason as to why I joined it, but I stayed because it was just really fun just making videos and features and being on the announcements. It was a really fun time. What's been your favorite memory over the last couple of classes? I would have to say in ComTech 2 when we did the 3,000th show, it was on Veterans Day and like it was crazy and I loved it. Um, mine's probably the Hemfield Happenings, the, the year that I took it. 
because uh, it was fun just going out and doing features that everyone can critique on and you can critique theirs. It's just a fun time. So what's next for both of you? I'm actually taking a year off and I plan on working and trying to get internships or basically anything in that realm of work. Uh, I'm going to attend Millersville University with the major in communication. I'm probably going to join the NBS new show over there. Now, I have you both together because uh, you were this last semester working on this YouTube show. How would you try <laughs> to make your show a little different from the ones before it? Well, we made it different because we really didn't have plan like we didn't have a planned out show. We sort of just did it. We had an idea, then we did it. Yeah, uh, what we wanted was to branch out into different genres of media, like a rap, the documentary, the, and um, unlike The Man on the Streets, which we did, but just like more abstract. And, and if you want to see their shows, it's on our, our YouTube page, HSD TV 7 Keen, what was your favorite one that you did throughout the semester? Mine's probably the Mountain Dew one that we did, the second one we did. That was fun. So we're going to see one example of uh, one of the shows that you did. Thanks for your hard work. Yeah, come on, turn it up, turn it all up, no, no, wait, turn it down, too loud, okay, yeah, mm, yeah, let's go, alright, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm chilling at the school, drinking pizzazz juice I'm feeling pretty fly, got subscribers on Caboose But I'm drinking Mountain Dew, cause I like that dude Got my swagger on level with my main man Zach Busting out raps like a little tic tac King Punch got nothing on my stack, he's just a hacking squeak So get some fire from my real boy Zach With his slaying words to stop some flame and speak Started this era with a bang bang pow. I'm not in the show, but I put the work in now. And I get some gains using DSLR. I slam hard like a crazy cool freight car. You got nothing on my skills and I pay the bills. But overall, we a big, big crew. We never a bore, so here's Keen again so I can film some more. Here we finish with some more facts We watching all our vids on our YouTube show act We battle addiction, we conquer affliction And we save the day from the evil moonlight and vision Sound interested? Well our ideas ain't limited Only letters and a number to remember HSD TV7, listen here mama We do what we do, now our popularity grew We make our dreams a reality We like kings in the hierarchy No need for an apology Just enjoy that coffee and check us out weekly <laughs> Come back from our show, sweetie. Mm. Yeah, check it out. Check it out, you know what it is. Mm. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Well, this year's seniors are pretty impressive, Mr. Bender. That's right, even in the ComTech program here, our nine seniors had half a million dollars worth of scholarships. And we're going to talk with more of those seniors next month. But of course, they're part of a larger class at Experience Commencement on June 7th at FNM. So we'll end this month's show with a look back at the festivities. At Hempfield, we take seriously our responsibility to prepare students to realize personal growth, achievement, and success when faced with challenges, or as Captain Kelly put it, doing really hard things. And you, the class of 2017, have accepted the challenges presented both in and out of the classroom. Because of this, it's my belief that you're prepared not only to survive in the 21st century, but to thrive. Your commitment to success has brought you here this evening, celebrating what I hope will be one of the best days of your life. 
Love everyone, no matter who, no matter what they say or do, just fix your frame, because I proclaim that where it counts, we're all the same. Minorities, majorities, constituents, authorities, red elephants, or blue donkeys. The core of these divisions are decisions. We decide to be divided, but we don't have to. We can pull through, and me and you, there's so much more that we can do united. I've decided that I'm done being nearsighted, because someday they'll see, from sea to sea, that it's not about me, but it's all about us. And thus all the fuss about who's right and let's fight and my way or bust is just superfluous. And we should all discuss how to see one another with love, not bias. Because just look around you and see all these faces. We're all walking through this life at our own paces. So whatever your politics, religion, or race is, you're going to go out there and, man, you're going to go places. So wherever you are, you've got to work with your placement, whether it's in New York, Asia, or your own parents' basement. Because wherever and whenever and whoever you are, just know you can go far and shoot for every star and love the life that you have got, no matter how bizarre. Because whether or not it's what you thought, this life you have is all you've got. And potential, man, you've got a lot. So please, I beg you, my dear friends, do not throw away your shot. While we leave high school behind today, we hope our class left an impression on our school. Again, Winnie the Pooh has a similar thought when he says, Promise me you'll never forget me, because if I thought you would, I'd never leave. It's a nice sentiment, you silly old bear, but we don't have that option. It's time to move on to our great unknown. After tonight, we should take the opportunity to slow down, enjoy the little things, and relax. Pooh suggests, let us begin by taking a smallish nap or two. We will need to balance our new adventures with our changing realities. Though starting our careers or going to college may be stressful, we should take the time to be grateful for these opportunities and remember our loved ones who have helped us along the way. When life gets hard, just remember, eat a little honey and relax. If Pooh can do it, so can we. At board meetings, I am always amazed at how much work by so many students and others is accomplished to help those in need within our communities and elsewhere. Your actions are outstanding and a role model for others. Continue that throughout your lives in whatever community you eventually settle in. In looking toward the future, I would like to take a quick look back to when I was your age. The futurists were predicting things that at the time seemed impossible. Yet here we are today with many of those predictions a reality. I believe that the future for you will be limited only by imagination and the desire and drive to make the world a better place. When you look at Sarah and me standing here together on the stage, the difference should be obvious. Okay, actually, maybe it's not. But you can at least tell there are two of us, right? If you look closely, you'll see some differences between us. And I cannot stress enough how different we really are. But if you're far away, all you see is two people dressed the same and who, at least I'm told, sound very much alike. Um, although not everyone in the class of 2017 has a twin, tonight we're all in a similar situation. If you're standing in the back of this gigantic gym, you're seeing a massive group, about 535 of us, wearing the same robes and the same caps and waiting to walk the same path across the same stage to get the same folder. But as soon as you open that folder and see each different name on each different diploma, you are seeing the end of someone's high school journey, the piece of paper that proves we finally made it. And when you start talking to each of us, you learn that behind each of those names is a different combination of twists and turns and speed bumps and sometimes just brick walls that we have had to find our way around to get here today. Graduation is a celebration of the fact that 535 different paths all happen to converge for a brief moment on the same stage. In a few hours, when the pictures are over and the goodbyes are said, our paths will diverge again, leading the class of 2017 in different directions. It is the journey that is the story, and that story doesn't end tonight. This is the biggest change that we have experienced thus far in our short lives. Friends have come and gone, career aspirations have changed, and our values and beliefs have been refined as we matured. In today's world, change is the only constant in our lives. So instead of fearing change, embrace it, because it will only make us stronger and wiser people. With this in mind, go out into this vast world of opportunities, and as Gandhi urged us so many years ago, be the source of change you desire to be. 
If you feel that something you are passionate about needs changed, lace up your shoes, roll up your sleeves, and get to work. Amanda Renee Grube. Thomas James Beyond the Lillo. Mina N. Sos. Stephanie Victoria Laldine. Taylor Page Kaiser. Zachary Michael Glinski. Martin Alexander Wanger. Caitlin A. McMaster. Charlotte Marie Hoover. Alamine Nasser Muhadeen. Josh Wagner. Allison Bish. Brianna Nicole Oweiler. Bryce Jordan Lockoff. Jordan Richard Howells. Kaylee. Good evening, everyone. I don't know if you know me, but my name is Bella. We went to high school together. That sounds pretty weird, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to keep this pretty short. But before we go, I would like to leave you with a quote that has inspired me these last few years. In the words of Maya Angelou, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget the way you made them feel. Having the privilege of growing up with such an amazing group of people is a feeling I know I will never forget. As we all continue to grow into the best versions of ourselves, let's abide by Miss Angelou's words. At this time, Hemfield Class of 2017, I ask if you could all join me in turning our tassels from the right side of our caps to the left, signifying the end of this chapter and the beginning of the adventure that is the rest of our lives. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job.